If you are anything like me, you love making model airplanes. And you especially love working on making those engines look just right. But sometimes these engines are just a bit small and a bit static. And sometimes you just want to up your radial engine game. Well, then I've got the model kit for you. This is a 1-6 scale full metal teching five-cylinder radial engine, which is definitely the nicest engine kit I have ever seen, and it makes for an excellent display piece. In this video, I'm going to build it for you. And as a special thanks to all you channel followers, I'm giving away these official Model Airplane Maker keychains. I'll have all the details for how to get those at the end of the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. As I've said many times, my favorite part of any model airplane build is the engine. To me, that mess of pistons, rods, wires, and magnetos all hanging off the crankcase is just chock full of visual interest. No matter what airplane I'm building, I spend a lot of time on the engine. And sometimes I just build the engine and sneak it back into the kit for a later time. Despite the fact I've never pursued the profession, I come from a long line of engineers, so maybe it's in my blood. Or maybe I was some sort of mechanic in a former life. Maybe inside this simple man of far too many words, there's a grease monkey just screaming to get out. So when Engine Kitor approached me with an offer to build a working model of a radial engine made entirely of metal, I could not pass it up. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful and it works and it can be easily displayed. Sweet. I'm not going to lie. I dug into this kit right away. No matter what else I could possibly say about this model, this is the finest model packaging I have ever seen. Every piece protected in its own foam compartment, foam layers protecting each other, and the whole thing placed snugly inside of a sturdy metal box. It's very impressive. And it doesn't stop just there. Notice the numbering beside all the foam cutouts? They're in order. This made it incredibly easy to find the parts. I sure wish other model makers did this. I mean, just think of all the hours we could get back if we didn't have to go hunting for part numbers each time. And when it comes to building the kit, well, the process is as smooth as it gets. I don't know how many of you think the same as I do, but sometimes it's just nice to sit back and just build something. And I mean only building something without worrying about painting it the right color or finishing with the right products or techniques. Just simple model construction. It can be zen-like. This engine kit sure was. What helped out a lot was that the parts were all perfectly machined and every bolt hole was properly drilled out. There were no extra steps that took away from the steady progress. The kit comes with all the necessary tools. You get three Allen keys and a teeny screwdriver. The only tool I added to the mix was a pair of tweezers because sometimes I had difficulty digging the parts um, out from the, cu the, the foam cutouts. And sometimes I needed the tweezers to place the bolts in the tight spots where my fingers had little room to fit. The instructions are well laid out and they're easy to follow. The build quickly ramps up because the construction steps eventually start repeating for each subassembly that make up uh, each of the five cylinders. I only messed up one construction step, but it was easily fixed with some quick disassembly and reassembly with the bolts. And the detail on the parts is also impressive. Whether it was the teeny little pistons that are inside of the cylinders or the turned metal spark plugs, it's all there. It's all very well represented. This is a quality kit. I suppose there's one big difference in working with moving metal parts, and that is the use of a light grease or some form of oil to smooth things out. The kit comes with this teeny tiny bottle of oil, and I made sure to use it on all the gears and the pivots. Now, it's not like this engine is going to be making 10,000 RPM, but it will run smoother and sound better with some oil on the moving parts. Again, when it comes to fit, I have to say, everything fit like a glove. Everything was smooth, and before I knew it, I was bolting the cylinders to the crankcase. Unlike the last working model engine I built, which used a separate case for the two AA batteries, this model uses a rechargeable battery. It's very similar to the batteries I've seen used inside those tiny RC helicopters. 
The electronics board also has leads to a rocker on-off switch and a USB charging port. There are plug connections for everything and it all goes together very easily. So, after the engine is built, we have the moment of truth. Does it work? It does. Nice. Very nice. The finished model has some heft and, is, and the stand is solidly attached. There's no danger of wobble or falling. This engine is definitely secure. If you'd like to build one of these beauties, just head on over to Engine Kitor and get one. Actually, they've got a lot of different engine kits available. And if you use code MM12, you can save 12% on your purchase. I'll have links in the video description as well as that code. And you know something? It looks great, and it's the perfect desk model for your den or office. For me, it's going right in my home office. I was very happy with how this kit turned out. And as a bonus, I'll definitely be reusing that massive tin to store my decals, and I'll reuse a tiny bolt box to organize parts for my later builds. Well, thanks for watching the video, everyone. In fact, thank you very much to everyone who's watched my videos. I really appreciate the feedback and the responses. This channel has grown considerably since the summer of 2020, and I really, I, I just couldn't be happier about that. And as a special thanks, I'm having a contest where I'm going to give away five of these official model airplane maker keychains. If you want to enter, all you have to do is leave a comment in this video before Sunday, December 15th, 2024 and I'll select five winners at random and I'll send these out to you. So don't forget to leave a comment and good luck.